The service tonight is taken from the Episcopal Book of Common Prayer. It is Compline, and Compline begins on page 127. It's a prayer that's done near the end of one's day, and over the centuries has been something that people have used to pray themselves into the night to their rest. And so we come this night to bring Compline and ask you to join us in that prayer. If you want to join us, grab a hold of a Book of Common Prayer, and again it's on page 127. In order for Compline. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our, our Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and by in what we have left done undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and, and to the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We'll be reading Psalm 31 responsibly by half verse. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, my castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from First Peter. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith. Thanks be to God. I want to take a moment for us to reflect in the midst of the Compline, a kind of time to gather together and 
the different forces that are operating in our life and in our society and offer them to prayer and to prayer. Yesterday, I had an opportunity to visit and listen, mainly listen, with a young man from Liberia who is a long, a lifelong Episcopalian, raised in the church in Liberia, came to this country, and given the circumstances of the society in the United States right now, a question was asked, what is it like for you to live in America now? I was surprised at how quickly he responded. First, he said it was difficult. And then he began to account different ways in which he lives with that difficulty and what he says to his son and others all of which was grounded in his abiding faith in Christ. Then as we went out from the place, we had the conversation into a garden where we were going to offer prayers along with other people. And he made an observation that has stuck with me and echoes in my mind and probably will continue to echo. He said, you know, when you encounter a snake that is threatening your life and others, you find what resources you have in order to protect yourself and you employ them against the snake. He says the church needs to employ our resources for the difficulties that face us. And he said, and that primary resource is prayer. Prayer that is contained in our prayer book and the words that echo through the generations, but especially prayer of the non-discursive type, that kind of silent prayer where I just take a simple word like Jesus and hold it as I breathe regularly so that in the quietness of the moment, the quietness of this time of prayer, I might listen, listen to see what it is that God is stirring among us, within us, within me, within you, and out of that stirring to form the words of prayer or choose the prayers from the prayer book, but to take time both to intentionally and in a disciplined way to listen and then to give voice to the stirrings and then those prayers continually to be offered. We live in a time when the first act as Christians needs to be a deepening and a ever more heartfelt desire to pray, to listen, and then in that prayer, to find what responses that we may be led into action and what kind of things that we might do. It's as if there is a roaring lion about us and what we are called to do is prayerfully face those lions in our lives, knowing that God's presence, God's spirit is present in us and among us and through us. Amen. Continuing on page 132.
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all the snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace. And let your blessing be upon us always. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. Give your angels charge over those who sleep and the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. And shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. Lord, you have now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people israel glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen guard us waking o lord and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with christ and, and asleep, asleep we, we may, may rest, rest in peace. peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen.